Glenn, we always hear that there should be kind of an alignment between the candidate who is applying for a job and the company's values. Do you believe that that alignment should be 100% or it all depends on the job or on the candidate? Yeah, I think that when it comes to um, hiring a candidate, what you need to do is step one is to really create an avatar of the type of person that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Who A lot of times we just go into hiring kind of like shooting shotguns, right? We're just yeah. like, okay, here's the... Here, you know, here's the job. And then, you know, if, if you have these qualifications, we kind of do it like that. And then we sort through, you know, however many people and we go through all these bad interviews. I remember one time I was interviewing a guy for a sales position and he showed up and the guy was like on crutches, had a patch over one eye and was like, and, and a broken left arm. I'm like, how is this guy going to run around my lot that's 10 acres wide, you know, and go out here and grab cars. And so it's important to have an avatar of who we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now within that avatar, obviously different people grew up in different backgrounds, different belief systems, different everything. And so finding someone that's going to align a hundred percent with your core values right out the gate is kind of not, reality, right? It's not always going to happen that way. But when we create an incredible culture, if we know what we're looking for, we can now plug people into that environment and help them to develop those core values that it's important that we have alignment with. So when I ran a dealership in Paris, Kentucky, I handled all of the hiring and I was looking for people that were motivated, people that were outside the box thinkers, people that were really hungry, um, I was looking for people that didn't have a lot of experience because I didn't want to deal with a bunch of old bad habits, right? And so I knew who I was looking for. Now, within that, some of the people that I hired had maybe a bad background, something that they did eight, nine years ago, you know, mm -hmm. that was still on their, on their background check. Or, or maybe they came in and didn't have an understanding of money because they'd never made any. So they didn't know the, the value of saving your dollars and the 70, 10, 10, 10 and things like that. Maybe they didn't have any spiritual understanding because no one introduced them to it. So I was looking for a specific skill set. Once I found that, then I knew I could bring them in and teach them all of those other things that made our company strong. Yeah. And do you believe that people add to the company culture or they should be all the same in terms of cultural fit? Say that one more time. I was going to ask, in terms of cultural fit, do you feel that uh, whoever you're hiring should fit in that box or you're okay people having different opinions so that it can create kind of an excitement or motivation? Yeah, I think that there's beauty in the blended, man. I mm -hmm. have zero interest in hanging out with only people that agree with me. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no growth yeah. in that, right? So I like a very, very diverse staff, mm -hmm. different belief systems, different uh, backgrounds and upbringings because they all add value. They all add wisdom. They all add knowledge. Mm -hmm. Now we do have some core values, right? There's certain core values that are non-negotiables. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are a, if you believe that uh, violence is the, the only way to the top, then you probably can't work in my organization. Maybe you can go work for the MMA or something like that, but you can't necessarily work for me. So there are some core values mm -hmm. that we have to have in place, but ultimately I'm a big fan of people coming as they are and bringing to the table the stories and experiences and wisdom that they've been able to uh, uh, accrue over time. Those are great tips. Thank you, Glenn. And again, for the audience watching and listening, if you have any other tips in terms of alignment, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with Glenn. All right, that was good. Okay, now storytelling. Okay. Are you still the second largest used car franchisee in the country? Uh, the company that I used to work for is, yes. I, I left there two years ago and been running my own business ever since. So you're, you're, you're on your own business now? Okay. Correct. So we're not going to.